so hello everyone I did want to make a video about how to use a graphing calculator for uh, chapter 6 especially the latter sections um, 6.3 and 6.4 modeling uh, with a line of best fit as well as a curve of best fit so I've chosen some examples to go over here the first one will be from uh, section 6.3 uh, modeling data with a line of best fit. Um, number 11, it is about life expectancy for Canadians, uh, both male and female, from the year 1920 to 2002. Okay, so I have the data listed on the left hand side here for reference, as you can see. There we are. And the question is in three parts. Part A asks us to create two scatter plots. One for the male data and one for the female data. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Okay, so how do I use a calculator to do this? The first thing you need to do is you go to Stat, Edit, and you want to enter all your data in L1, L2. Um, usually we don't use L3 because we don't usually compare three sets of data, but um, or two sets of data. But um, this is the case, so we have L1, L2, L3. L1, of course, is the years. L2 is the male life expectancy and L3 is the female life expectancy. Let's go ahead and write these down because uh, we will be referring to them quite frequently throughout the video. Okay. So please be very careful when you do enter the data um, yourself for a quiz or a test or even for your homework because um, what you don't want to do is you know all do all the techniques right but just screw up one number like 60 instead of 61 and then everything gets ruined so that will be no good okay so one, once you have entered your data you want to um, create a scatter plot so you need to change your window um, to make sure that everything fits in this case my lower bound and my upper bound for x which is l1 will be 1900 because i want it to be a little bit lower than 1920 and my x max will be a little bit over the year 2000 2050 okay and the reason why I want it to be 2050 is because I will be asked to extrapolate the year 2012 in a little bit later. So I want to leave some room for that. Okay. As for the Y values, um, the lower bound, I'm going to pick the uh, 50 because that's lower than 59. And for the Y max, I'm going to go up to 100 because, I, once again, I do need to extrapolate later, which means going beyond the point. So I don't know where I'm going to end up. So 100 seems like a safe number. Okay, so once you have set up your window, you've entered your data, so all that's left to do is actually create the scatter plot. So I'm going to go to second stat plot. Okay, there should be uh, a bunch of these, so we only need the first two, really. Go enter the first one, press enter. I'm going to turn this thing on, and I'm going to go with the dots here. The type will be dots. Um, there's other types too, but we don't need those. Okay, X list will be L1, Y list will be L2. And I'm going to use the square as marks for this one. So when I press the graph button, it will graph the male life expectancies. Similarly, if I go back to stat plot, I'm going to go to uh, plot number two. I'm going to turn that on as well. X list is still L1, still the years, but instead of L2 for the Y list, I will have L3 because I want the female life expectancies there. I'm going to use crosses as the marks just to differentiate from the first scatter plot. Okay, and you can see that it forms a straight line as well. And you can see that um, the life expectancy difference is uh, increasing. The gap is widening a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of that. Hopefully it work. If not, that's okay. Um, let's see, I'm gonna paste oh, it's down here. I'm gonna try to make it look pretty good. Uh, I think that's okay. Okay, so that's the end of part one. It says to create a scatter plot. It would be better if you have evidence of creating a scatter plot, but um, I'm not going to ask you to sketch something like that because it seems to be quite a lot of work. <laughs> so here's part B. Determine the equation of a linear regression function for each set of data. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go second quit, and that will take us to the um, regular calculator screen with nothing on it, which is nice. And what I'm going to do is to um, determine the equation of linear regression. So I want to go stat. I'm going to go to the second menu here, the calculate menu. I'm going to go to the fourth option, which is linear regression, ax plus b. 
and first I'm going to do the um, male life expectancy uh, function. So that will be L1 because of the years, comma L2. And if you press enter, it will do all the calculations for you. So in this case, our linear regression will be y equals 0 0.23x minus 383.13 repeated. Okay, so that will be for the male. And now for the female, uh, same kind of thing, we're going to go second and then enter, which brings up the last entry. The only thing that I need to change here is that instead, instead of L2, um, which is the male life expectancy, I want L3. So here we go, press enter. Oops. Then that of course gives us the female life expectancies. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Y equals 0 0.286 repeated. X minus 489.42 repeated. Okay. So usually for a quiz or a test, I'm going to ask you for three decimal places for these. So please do round carefully. Um, there will be there will be a reminder on the test itself as well. So um, three decimal places. There we go. Okay. So on to part C, in which we want to graph the two lines in order to find out what the life expectancy will be in the year 2012. So I'm going to go ahead and recalculate the male life expectancy first. So L1, L2. Okay. And then I'm going to go to y equals right here and i'm going to go ahead and graph this line now how i'm going to do that is i'm going to go vars go to number five statistics right here enter i'm going to go over to the eq menu and i want the regression equation and if you press enter here it will punch in the regression equation for you as you see you can see is this the same thing here and there okay i'm going to go ahead and graph and it should go through all the squares it does, which is good because it's supposed to be a line of best fit. So now I'm going to go ahead and go second, calculate value. I'm going to enter x equals 2012, and the, it will give us the life expectancy here, which is about 80 years. And that will be for um, male. So write that down. Now for the female, I'm going to go ahead, go to y equals and delete this line because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to quit. I'm going to recalculate the linear reg regression equation for female. So oops, second L3. Okay, looks the same as that one, which is good. And I'm going to do the same thing as before. So y equals and then go, go vars, number five stats. Move over to the equations menu, regression equation, which is number one. Press enter. And that's entered for us, which is good. And I'm going to press graph. And it goes through all the crosses, which is good, because it's supposed to be a line of best fit through the uh, female uh, life expectancies. Second, calculate. And once again, the value will be 2012, or the value at 2012, and it'll be approximately 87 years. So it'll be interesting to see what the actual life expectancies are for Canadians in, in the year 2012 and see how it compares to these two numbers that we have gotten here. Um, and that's basically what you need to do for lines of best fit. There will be more example on curves of best fit and we'll come back with those in just a little bit.